Daniel Wolf, 50, that's the average age of when a woman is diagnosed with cervical cancer. But unfortunately, many women at that age, they don't realize how important those yearly exams are at detecting things like cancer. An Acadiana woman is sharing her story of doing just that, putting off her yearly exam and how it could have cost her life. Anita Ewing says that she was done having children and didn't see a need to get her yearly exam. I never had any problems, so I never thought that anything was wrong. Um, it's nothing that you can feel, so I just, I never thought anything was wrong, and I just never thought that I really needed to have my yearly exam. But one day, something changed, so she scheduled an appointment. And I came to Dr. Thomasy, had my well woman exam, and my pap smear came up abnormal. Still not thinking anything was seriously wrong, Anita says she went home and waited for the phone call. When it came, the news on the other end was not what she was expecting to hear. It was scary. Cancer is a very, very scary word. And um, so a lot was going through my mind. I was about to turn 50, and um, and I, I knew I had a long life to still live. So getting that call that says you have cancer, any type of cancer, is a, a scary call. Telling her three boys probably the hardest part of the journey. I, I kind of got them all together, and I, I let them know. And, they, of course, were very worried and scared. And, and I told him, I said, I'm, you know, I'm in good hands and this is just the first step of it. I don't know how it's progressed or if it's progressed. So let's just take this one day at a time. Dr. May Thomas, the gynecologist with Our Lady of Lords, says Anita's story isn't uncommon. A lot of patients that I see have already had their babies. You know, a lot of them say, well, I stopped going to my OBGYN after I had babies. The most important thing is that women's health is paramount and we need to take care of ourselves. Thomas, he says in the last decade, there have been talks about how often women need to get a pap smear. That, she says, can get confusing. We definitely don't do the cell testing every 12 months on most patients who are low risk. Now we know if we test HPV virus and the high risk types, if you don't have that, then we can put your screening out for pap testing a little longer. But that's very confusing because we really still want to see you, examine you, and reassess every year if you have risk factors or if new symptoms have come up. As for Anita, she considers herself lucky. The cancerous cells have not spread, but she will be having a hysterectomy as a safeguard. Anita's hoping that others hear her story and take her advice to put themselves first. All right, so Dave, you know, for a lot of cancers and a lot of things in medicines, it's hard to say that something can be preventable. Mm -hmm. Cervical cancer is almost preventable because if you do these pap smears, you do your yearly exams, like they can detect these kinds of things. Kind of like with breast cancer, if you do your annual screenings, they can most likely catch it right. before it's too late. Has the doctor found that women postpone those regular appointments because of COVID? That, yes. Yeah, because of COVID, a lot of, for a lot of different things. I mean, you mentioned that when it came to mm -hmm. breast cancer earlier yeah. this year. And I think it comes with a lot of things. And then, you know, as you get older, you're just like, oh, fine. I don't need to go see this person. But you do. Even if you, let's say, don't have your pap smear done every year, and that's something you discuss with your doctor, at least your yearly exam. Mm -hmm. Just because they can still, there's other cancers out there. There's other things out there that you need to, like, check yourself for. Do you feel the insurance companies need to jump on board and maybe get earlier screenings covered, too? I think so. isn't it after a certain age they cover mm -hmm. it? Yeah. yeah. And I think I think that's something, too, because we're, we're realizing that, especially with breast cancer, that you can be 34 years old and get breast cancer. Mm -hmm. You don't have to just be in your 40s or 50s to get it. Um, so yeah, I think earlier screenings would be beneficial to everyone. Every year, get those done.